Hey guys, we're going to go over the TFS 240 today. This is uh, completely stock. This is a 2.1 inch valve. We've got a 1.6, but it does have a back cut on it. And it has a slight radius. Uh, I wanted to try what a back cut does on this. Uh, it actually had more, more noise than the non-back cut valve with a bigger radius I tested on this one. So this is port two, I think. Okay, port two, completely stock. Uh, the chamber doesn't have any work done to it at all. The one before, I didn't realize it had a little bit of cartridge roll work right around that uh, top edge. So I'm not gonna count those flows, but you could see the, the liquid was a little bit different on that one than this one. This one, you got practically nothing on the chamber. And relatively small spot on the, on the bore. You can see it's got some angle. It does have good swirl. Not much liquid on the valve. Okay, it looks pretty good right down its throat. Uh, by the way, as far as I'm concerned, whoever did the CNC work on this, did a pretty good job. I, I really like the way these turned out. These uh, are completely stocked from TFS right now. They're supposed to be 240 cc's. They came out a little bigger than that. Okay, this is not completely finished. You can see I had a little a couple issues with my drawing, but wow, that's got a nice shaped intake port, and the exhaust port's pretty darn good too. All right, it came out to 242 cc's for your intake. 97.5 for your exhaust and 67. 67 is what it's supposed to be on the chamber, so that's that's right where it should be. CNC work is quite quite nice. Uh, you can see where the the cutter goes in from one direction and stops and turns around. There's always a little bit of a a lip right there. No big deal. Uh, I would go over it. Of course, I'd burr the whole thing, but that's me. And depending upon our application. Uh, short side is d done up really nicely. Uh, in fact, the uh, air speeds across it are pretty good. Could they be improved? Probably a little bit, yeah. Okay, our bowl is almost exactly two inches across, and it's a 2.1 inch valve. Very deep bowl, 2.71 inches, measured from the deck to the roof of the bowl. When you look at the air speeds on the top of the bowl, you'll know why they are the way they are. I even like the angle of the fin that they put in. It was really done quite well. As far as the chamber, there's a bunch of things on this chamber I like. Probably the most important part is I like the way this comes in relatively tight to the valve here. Right? When they bring that out, I don't like it as much. You don't want as much air across the short side. You'd like to reduce that and get it more like this, like maybe machining this out like DV likes to, right? Give it a little more of a straight shot across. What is nice is these are high ports. The, the exhaust port is quite good, but it doesn't flow what I thought it would. Very interesting, because my high ports, I think we just crack like 200 on the exhaust port. Now my high ports are iron and they're getting a bunch of work done to them. They will be pretty good when it's all said and done. Okay, the port shape looks downright really good actually. Okay, the short side is quite wide but you'll see this far left corner is quite a bit slower than the tight corner because of course it's a small block board everything wants to go around that tight corner on the right. Okay, the exhaust port's got a good shape. It's an oval. It's, uh, I probably would have made it more like a D. I, I don't think I would have used a rounded floor right here. When you see the air speeds, you'll, you'll, you'll know why. Now, my old hot ports are tall rectangular, much bigger than these, but they don't flow as well. You can see they got a nice shape around the guide. And... To be honest, I'm not sure how you can even use the standard flange 
and not have an exhaust leak. There is basically nothing to catch that gasket on this side. So you're better off using the, uh, the other pattern. Okay, you can see we got a really good line of sight on here. And they did a nice job on the short side radius. The valve job does have a radius on the inside edge. It's it's tough to see, but this, this is a radius up to here. You can see it's got the 45, and it's got a little bit of a 60, and then it has a radius. Okay, just a different view of this, and we're going to get to the numbers. Okay, this is how we did. The, remember, this is uh, number two, TFS 240, totally stock. We've got a 2.1 with a back cut on it. We've got a 1.6 with a back cut. The back cut did flow a little bit less than the other exhaust we tried without the back cut and more of a radius on the face. It also had less noise. This has got three points of noise. How'd we do? Well, not bad at the lower lifts. 300 strong, 227. That's not bad, but it is a big port. Heading down, 700 to 800, right around 354, 357. If you go on Stan Weiss's site, he's got a set of TFS that are 245 cc's with a 2.1 valve. They flow almost exactly the same as that. It flowed good enough that I took the bench down and just made sure my number five uh, setting was right on the money. It was actually a couple CFM low, but I'm fine with that. Had we do as far as our swirl, we're damn good, all right? If it's 1,700 or better, we're good. Had we do as far as air speeds, really interesting stuff, guys. Relatively good, but could use a little more action on the roof, right? Um, our straight wall, which is the wall that all the liquid hits, actually had a slower roof than the other side because that's also got the more active short side. And it seems like if the active short side, right? I'm sorry, that's not correct. Okay, yeah, no, I was wrong with that. All right, we got more action on this side of the short side and it's a little bit slower on the other side. Overall, it's really not bad. 430 is a little high. You could probably knock that back a bit, bit, but if you take a look at the shape of the short side on my drawing, it's really nice. Okay, that short side is over an inch tall, and it has a really nice profile. Uh, I would not go crazy and lay that back. You'll lose too much in the mid-range. It's already got a good shape just the way it is. I would work on the valve job and maybe a little work in the chamber. And I think these are probably good to go. As far as our roof speeds, I would like to see them more evened out than that. But that may not give us any more flow. As far as the exhaust, eh, not great. I mean, considering how big it is, you know, you can get a, a standard exhaust port almost as good as that. So it's not great. It's 245 with a, with a pipe on it. And the speeds are pretty good, except it's completely dead in the center, which if you made it more of a D-shape, that would probably speed up a little bit more. Relatively even side to side, not bad. Like I said, whoever, whoever uh, designed these did a pretty good job. Pretty good job. Uh, overall, if you're going to get a CNC head, I really like the TFS high port CNC. Not cheap, expensive head, but... You could make you can make good horsepower with this right out of the box. I know a lot of guys like to do that. Me, I like to waste a ton of time on them. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.